last thing I'm going to do on this little grill is I'm going to do the head. And on your cockers, they should have a, American cockers, they should have a dome shaped head. This shouldn't be flat. So the last thing we want to do is come in here with clippers and take all of this off. So I want to try to build this up a little bit. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to comb everything up. And we wouldn't do this same technique on a show cocker, but this is what I'm going to do on the pet cocker just to give her the nice dome shape instead of it being really flat. But I'm going to comb everything up. I'm going to flip my thinning shears over, still using the, the blade with the teeth closest to the skin. And <clears throat> I'm going to angle it from this longer coat into the shorter coat on top of this head. So I've got my shears angled back towards the tail. And I'm actually taking my bottom blade, which is the thinning, the blade that does the thinning, and that's going just about right down to the skin as I thin this out. And, and you can gonna... see he's not staying in the same spot. He's working his way from one side of the top skull to the other, and that'll prevent you from getting any kind of holes in the dog's coat. Stop. And you may think it'd be easier to take clippers. It probably would, but <laughs> I want to make this look nice. She's a, she's a pretty little girl. She is. So if, if we took that off and made it flat, it'd just take away all this work we've done to make this dog look nice and natural. So I want to keep the natural look as much as possible. So now I'm going to comb it back. And you can see it's starting to blend in from the longer coat here. It's starting to blend into the back of the skull. So I've still left this hair here to give her some texture and some density. So just keep in mind that the, the tuft on top of the cocker's head is to accent the dome. It's not made to be a cap. It's not made to be a crown. It's not made to look like a top knot that separates the front of the head from the back of the head. It should look like a nice Stop. high top skull. And it also helps accent the, the nice eyes and the distinct stop that a cocker has. Now, one thing you'll see as she's pulling away from me, you'll notice I don't let go of her muzzle. And I'm not holding her muzzle tight. If I were to take this muzzle and hold it real tight, she's going to be a lot more apt to fight me and to pull away from me. But So I've just barely got a grip on her. And that way I can feel when she moves. So, you know, I take less chance of cutting her. She's actually just got to sneeze. <laughs> but the tighter you hold, the more she's going to fight you. And if you do just have a, a real nice loose hand, you know, firm, but not really tight, as she pulls away, you notice I don't let go of this dog's head. And if I were to let go, the first thing that's going to happen is she thinks she's won the battle. So she's, she's going to get away with tugging every time you groom her. So always make sure you hang on to that head or whatever body part you're working on. Sometimes what I do when, I have, when I'm doing the head and they're tugging like that is I'll, as I'm holding the muzzle, I'll also loop one finger into the noose on the collar because that kind of gives me control of the collar also so she can't back away from me. I'm say, okay, so now you can see we've got a nice dome shape going here, got a little bit of substance built up, and this blends in nice to the back skull. Now, if you do have, um, she didn't have a whole lot of hair on the back skull right here where it meets the top line, or right here where it meets the neck, but you want to take your thinning shears in that area nice and neat because they have, should have good definition from the top of the head to the back of the skull right here into her neck area where it goes into the top line. So we want to make this nice and neat. And he's also got the top skull where it meets the ear um, blended in really nice too. So you don't want to see like a distinct clipper line um, in, in this section right here. So you can see how nice and smooth that looks also. So I'm going to stack her up for you so you can kind of see what we've done. Okay, girl. Pretty girl. There's our little American cocker in the suburban trim. Good girl, Zoe. She's very good. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sue Zecco. I'm Jay Scruggs, and this is Bailey. Bailey Williams. Our American cocker. And Bailey is a, a client at my shop, and um, this is, we just wanted to show a variation in the trims that you can do. Um, I think what a lot of people get carried away with is when a dog gets a little bit tangled, they just strip everything down. Um, this is a really, really easy maintenance trim on a cocker, and it gives them a little bit of style, and Bailey loves it. 
Um, so what we've done with this, you know, they usually come in as a puppy and they want them to look like a cocker. And then after the first couple of times of going through dematting and dematting charges, we go a little shorter, a little shorter. So we finally came up with this haircut where we're taking off the skirt completely, we're taking off the chest completely, but we leave the legs. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with, a, I use on him a 7F blade. So I'm just going to start up behind the...